I can see also that you're getting you're getting rid yeah. of that tattoo on your shoulder. <laughs> yes. Wow. Dude, how painful I, is that? It's so painful. Because so, that was very big and very dark. So this is actually only one treatment, which is pretty cool because it's really? almost you know, one treatment. So wow. I went to a place that they have the best of the best, but it is the most painful. They don't use heat. Mm-hmm. So you don't get like blistery, but mm-hmm. it does. Oh my gosh. It's so painful. I I have so many that I'm removing. It's just. Wow. For those of like, you who are not actually watching the video and you're listening to the audio, we are talking about tattoos. Yes. Elsa has a huge rose tattoo on her shoulder. That's very this, much been like yes. a trademark of yours. And this one will probably only take two more sessions. The one on my hip will take three years. What's on your one, hip? I can't remember. Roses again. Oh. <laughs> I mean, at least you're stupid. consistent. <laughs> so stupid what how long did that session take just a couple minutes they zap it so quick really yeah but just excruciating pain for a couple of minutes it's like a rubber band but like a big rubber band yeah like a strong one plus burning and like i i don't even know how to explain it it's like a true zap in yeah like, no and, i've had uh, enough laser treatments in my yeah. old age to, to understand what you mean and you can't numb it and that you got to leave it alone it's just can you take like a painkiller beforehand? I'm sure, but I don't know. I don't even take Tylenol, so I'm not really. really yeah. Why don't you take Tylenol? I just don't like taking medication. Interesting. You yeah. know, my brother used to be like that. He would get sick and he would like not take medication because he wanted to know that like he could fight it on his own. I just think it's better to. So I've had two boob jobs, right? Mm-hmm. And. My second one, I wasn't even swollen or anything. And all I took was the antibiotics because you have to take that. Yeah. But I swear it's because I didn't take any added stuff. I just drank Arnica tea, which I drink every single day. And I think that's like in celery juice. I think that's like the best thing you can really do instead of taking Tylenols. And what you got two boob jobs and you never took any pain medication? No, the first one, it was horrible, but I did recover a lot quicker than my friend did. And my second one, no pain, no swelling, no bruising. And I'm trying to tell people, drink Arnica tea. Really? If you're getting a procedure done, start drinking Arnica tea two weeks prior. 30 days prior, drink celery juice. Really? Mm-hmm. It helps for inflammation. And you know Arnica, like the oh, cream yeah. and stuff? They yeah. have a tea. Yeah, I fell on my ass on the stairs last week. I've been drink putting Arnica tea. on my butt every fucking day since then. Yeah, the tea, way better. Arnica tea and then, cel- you know, celery juice, I hate celery, but mm-hmm. I know that celery juice is good for digestion, so I've been so trying many, to drink more of that. It, like, if you really do your research on celery juice, it helps with so much. Really? Yeah. It tastes like, yeah, it's not. You could put lemon in it. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, is like, yeah. I mean, you know, I used to be like a raging alcoholic, so I'm good at pounding really? liquids really quickly. Oh wow! So I feel like <laughs> if I could pound like a fucking glass of vodka, which is vile, I feel like I could do just. I don't juice. know. I could I could do shots all day if I really wanted to, and it, and I like it way better than celery juice. Well, I mean, it makes you feel better, right? It's yeah. like after the first couple, it's like ah, oh, it's. A, it's water after that. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, yeah. Celery juice. Okay. I'm going to start doing try I need it. to get more healthy. I'm going to start looking into that. Yeah. No, try try celery juice. It's... You say, like, anti-inflammatory, too? This, I mean, everything. I drink it when I have a headache. All of it. If I'm not feeling good, I drink celery juice. Really? I, have a, I actually have a juice in the fridge with celery juice. In Try it. it. And like beets. And, just do oh, natural. I hate beets. The two things I hate the most, celery and beets. Or you're telling me other things I need to take Well, off, I right? mean, I feel like the last year I used to eat so unhealthy. And it really, people would tell me this all the time. It makes a huge difference when you're healthy. I know. Just everyday functioning is so much easier. <laughs> Why won't I do it? Wait, what else do I need to do? Just eat. Don't eat processed things i don't eat anything on like that's been processed like no crackers no man-made type of you know things that well, are they just say not- they say like stay to the on the outside aisles of the grocery right mm-hmm. because that's where like the dairy is and well dairy is probably not a good example but like the vegetables and the yeah. fruits and stuff like that like caveman everything, diet yeah everything on the inside is the process that's diet. what i do caveman diet it's so tell, like, take me through what you generally eat in a day. I know this is not a nutritious podcast. We will get to dicks, I swear to God, guys. Yeah. But like, I do want to hear. I want to hear about how I can be healthier so I can take dick better. 
okay, so drink Arnica <laughs> tea because then when you're swollen, it will just, you will be so swollen and you won't be in pain. Drink that celery juice. But I wake up and I drink Arnica tea. I'll eat, I actually don't eat breakfast. If I do, mm -hmm. it will be like eggs, like two eggs. I'm mm -hmm. not a breakfast person. I actually don't really eat until one o'clock. Hmm. And then that's when I'll eat grilled chicken, broccoli, um, fruits. How do you like, so salmon. I mean, you, I know you travel a lot. Yeah. You travel quite a bit. Like how do you manage eating stuff that's not man-made when you're traveling? Every place has grilled chicken and broccoli. Even if it's not on it, you call room service and you ask for that, they'll make it. Or some type of vegetable, but they all have grilled chicken. Hmm. And then, true. Yeah. I guess that's true. And they'll all make like some type of gravy or whatever, I guess. But I don't even eat that. It's in rice. Yeah. And then what What about dinner? Same thing. Are you serious? Steak, Do shrimp, salmon, and then a vegetable, whether it's a spinach. Salmon and spinach goes well together. Do you Mashed ever eat, potato. Do you eat sugar ever? No. Like, See, I have PCOS actually. So sugar is oh. really bad for me. Hmm so bad i actually have to be kind of careful of the amount of fruit that i eat too like it oh, will really? really throw me off yeah okay hey guys if you want to support my show then you should think about joining my patreon at my patreon i offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support from live streams of my interviews as they are happening to bonus q a's behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots plus cool merch like stickers mugs and hoodies we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered. And while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.